Hey Pisces, welcome to Awaken Blue Heart Tarot. For those of you that are new, my name is Danielle. And for those of you that are returning, hey guys. I hope that everybody's been doing great. So this is going to be your reading for the month of March. Please keep in mind, this is just a general reading. So some of the messages may or may not apply to your exact situation. If you feel like it doesn't apply, please take a look at my other videos to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. All right, Pisces, happy birthday to you guys. I hope that you all are enjoying your birthday season. So, y'all know I'm not for the chit-chat. We're going to hop right in it, but thank you guys so much for the love and support. And, of course, you know that the readings can go vice versa, so just take it however it fits your situation. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on with you guys in the month of March. Spirit, what's going on with my Pisces, please? Pisces. All right, I'm seeing codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Bottom of the deck. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay. <sighs> Pisces, y'all reading last, you know, definitely two months been a little rough, okay? <laughs> so, uh, let's see what this is about because y'all remember I told you guys last month somebody was coming in, right? Sorry, I'm messing with my crystals, trying to slide them. Um, you guys had somebody from your past or, you know, basically somebody you were dealing with that's trying to come back in. To make things right and I feel like there could be some codependency with this person whether um, you know Pisces this is you feeling maybe codependent to them or they're feeling codependent to you cross watchers same thing if you're dealing with a Pisces but I feel like spirit is saying you know that the situation is very codependent this person may have codependent behaviors and they're wanting you to make the effort to free yourself um, from this person I feel like they're wanting you to let them go for some of you guys Maybe you're dealing with someone that's in a codependent situation and they're trying to make the effort to get out of it. So let's just see how this plays out because Spirit did say they want you guys to stay optimistic about your love life. Okay, Spirit. So, what's going on with my Pisces in the month of March? Pisces, please. All right, Pisces, let's go. Okay, bottom of the deck. Look at that. I have the nine of pentacles. Free yourself. This is somebody becoming single. This is someone having a peace of mind. So let's see. Look at that. There's the sun. All right, so I'm seeing that you guys want happiness, you know, in all areas of your life. But right now, you're not content with how things have been playing out. Maybe somebody's not content with money, maybe because of a child. But I'm seeing here, that's for some of y'all, not everybody. But I'm seeing here that, yeah, there's a relationship here. Somebody wants a commitment. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to start over and build with you, Pisces. Look at that. Somebody definitely wants things to improve. Now, for others of you, I am picking up that you're not content with how things have been playing out with the person that you're dealing with. So you could currently be in a relationship with this person or currently, you know, in a situationship, whatever it is. Pisces, look at that. Your card is at the bottom of the deck, see? But I feel like this could be you guys moving on, starting in a new direction in order for things to improve. So, y'all, I'm picking it up kind of going two different ways. So, let's just see how it plays out. Yeah, because I'm seeing that something's going to happen really fast, okay? Mm-hmm. But somebody doesn't know what to do. There could have been a lot of harsh communication, Honestly, just from the way this is looking so far, it even could be a situation to where somebody was trying to give someone else another chance or this individual is wanting you to give them another chance and you're like, okay, maybe I can start over. Maybe I can see myself building. But the more you kept talking to this person or entertaining them, you realize that it's the same old, same old. This person still, you know what I'm saying, like talk to you like you're crazy or they just had certain behaviors like I'm not dealing with it. You know, so some of you guys like there's nothing more that I can do here. I'm done. You know, maybe somebody had you in a third party situation. Maybe somebody's finances weren't right. But yeah, that's why I said I feel like you guys are just trying to leave this person alone. But let's see. 
look, I can't make this up. Somebody, it, somebody could have been in a situation to where, again, they weren't content financially speaking. You know, maybe you guys were like, look, money wise, it's like, I feel like I'm having to do more than you. You know, there's no balance. You're not positive about this person anymore. Tell me more. Yeah, but look at that. Somebody wants to have a victory. So I feel like somebody was trying to hold on to you guys really tight. Could have been dealing with a Taurus. See what I'm saying? Somebody wants a commitment. Somebody wanted something to lead towards marriage. Look at that. But you don't have a peace of mind, financially speaking. You don't have a peace of mind with this individual. Maybe some of you guys are feeling stuck because you're in a commitment, because you're in a marriage or some type of like contract. Tell me more. Yeah, somebody's frustrated because they're feeling like if maybe if they walk away, they're going to lose something. But you guys know what to do. I feel like at one point you weren't sure. You're moving in the right direction, but at the same time, you're still moving a little slow. But Spirit is saying you're going to come out of being frustrated. Somebody could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But somebody's having a hard time here. Yeah, because they're wanting things to improve, okay? Mm, yeah, somebody wants a family. This could be a family situation, but somebody looks at you as their family. They're wanting a family. You're their wish fulfillment. Okay. See, somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius, but I feel like this person, they're trying to hold on to hope, you know, that they can heal things with you back and forth with the King of Wands. Okay. Somebody could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. I feel like somebody... One minute they're confident, they're ready to come towards you, but then the next minute they're not. They're just dragging their feet. Let's see. Let's see. There's a tower moment. Clarify the tower. Somebody's realizing they're not going to have a new opportunity. Something took place. See, could be dealing with a Scorpio. I'm telling y'all, somebody's realizing there's not going to be a new beginning here. For some of you, I am picking up that you did give someone a, someone a chance, but you're realizing this isn't working. Look at that. There's a decision that was made because of this shakeup that took place. See, somebody could be dealing with a Gemini, but I'm telling you, somebody was in some type of relationship or a commitment. See, they're wanting to start over. This person was trying to extend an offer because like I told you guys before, for some of you, you could have a family with this person. Um, for others of you, this person wants to start over with you, maybe start as friends, just go slow because they want a future with you. So somebody is really trying to hold on tight. Look at that because they don't want you to let them go. Could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Look at that. But you guys are like, you know what? I don't see myself having a new beginning with you. Yeah, you guys are coming out of your head. You're not worried about it. But see, somebody's frustrated because they're feeling stuck, not knowing what to do. So I feel like if you're the one like that, you know, was done wrong and you're in this situation, I feel like you're not confused. You know that the situation isn't working. But for some of you, like I was telling you, maybe you could have um, it's like a family situation that's going on where you're kind of like, OK, I got to figure this out because somebody's feeling stuck. Could be because of money. Maybe you guys have something tied in together. Let's see. Clarify. Knight of Wands. Yeah, that could be it. Sometimes telling you some type of document or contract. For others of you, maybe you're frustrated because this person that you try to give a chance to, they're a player. Always running in and out of your life. Tell me more. There's the cherry. Yeah, I feel like you guys are moving on. You're going to tell this person this. You could be dealing with the cancer. Yeah, because you don't see things turning around at all back and forth with the eight of cups see what i'm saying you guys know you need to walk away but at the same time you're not it's like it's something that's holding you back I, oh let me see yeah see some of you guys are waiting for something maybe this person owes you money maybe you're waiting for money it's something here somebody's not walking away yeah see you're keeping an eye on them you're watching see because you're undecided about what to do but at the end of the day your guard is up but it's something that somebody somebody's waiting on something see that's why you're not moving forward just yet somebody's not learning the lesson somebody's still going through their lessons tell me more look at that i feel like this is money this this has something to do with money you're realizing that this person will not give you the offer that you deserve it's like this person's not acting right so again you're coming out of being frustrated about the situation yeah, there's little to no communication. You guys are going to stop talking to them as much. 
could be dealing with a Capricorn, but you're going to walk away. This situation is toxic. It's not good for you. And you know this. See? You could be healing because this person did leave you out in the cold, you know, and I feel like you guys are working on yourselves. Somebody could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Somebody could be dealing with an Aries. Honestly, just looking at the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like this is you. You're just to the point where you're focusing on you, you're healing, you're focusing on your money, your stability. And because at the same time when you're looking at this individual, they do nothing for you. They don't bring anything to the table and you're tired of dealing with them. See, the way the Page of Cups just came out, I'm telling you, this person is still trying to give you an offer. But I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like this offer because they are still very immature and childish. They are. And you guys know this. But see, you're stuck trying to make a decision about what to do. See, I can't make this up. The way the two of swords just came out, one minute you're stuck trying to make a decision, the next minute you already know what you want to do. But they're saying you're not confident in making this move just yet because, see, you're heartbroken. This person could have broken your heart due to a third-party situation for some of you. And third-party can be another love interest. It could be family, friends, career. Pisces, your car just tried to jump out. So maybe some of you guys are dealing with another Pisces or it was just this person kept things hidden from you. See? So I'm telling you, somebody is in some type of family situation. Maybe somebody is living with someone else and maybe that's why it's hard. Look at that. I'm telling you, the fact that I have two fours here, this is some type of home or family situation that's going on because I'm seeing that this person doesn't want you to walk away. And they're coming back because they want to give you an offer. Look at that to balance things out. Somebody could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Somebody also could be dealing with a Libra. But looking at justice, like I told y'all, it could be some type of legal situation contract. But honestly, I feel like you guys are trying to find the truth, you know, about this person. Because somebody was giving somebody another chance. Trying to work things out because of a family that they have with this person or some type of like family situation, home situation. But I'm seeing that you will have the strength because you're going to put in the work to do what needs to be done. I feel like to let go. Yeah, see, look at that. This was a lesson for you. Somebody could be dealing with a Virgo, but this was definitely a lesson for you. So spirit wants you to sit back and think about everything because maybe this is you thinking about you putting a lot of time with this person, a lot of energy. And now you're sad, you know, because you're like, dang, I'm taking a loss. Like, I really invested all of my time. Maybe some of you guys are taking a loss financially speaking, but Spirit is saying you're going to be okay. You got to cut this person off. You got to cut them off. Somebody could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. And you need to do it fast because you guys were moving really slow at one point to cut them off. See? But you know they're sneaky. Pisces, you know this. You know they're sneaky. See, the way the King of Cups just came, I'm just picking up a sneaky. When this King jumped out, I don't know why I'm looking in their eyes. I don't like it. I'm telling y'all, y'all need to get away from this person. We've been talking about this for a while, Pisces. Okay? Y'all gonna make me pull up on y'all. Because, you know, I'm not gonna leave y'all behind. But we gotta do something. Because I can't. I need y'all readings to turn around. This person is sneaky. Y'all know this. And I feel like they're playing this game with you like... They're trying to come back, begging, pleading, please hit me back. I'm done. I'm sorry for everything that I put you through in the past. I've changed. I don't do this. I cut him off. I cut her off. Like, they're doing, saying all of this. But the thing is, they're still keeping things hidden. It's something that they're not telling you. And I feel like you already know this because they're sneaky. Could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I don't know if I said it up here. I'm sorry if I didn't. Somebody could be dealing with a Leo. But, yeah, see, I told you. This person's telling you that they want to have a new beginning with you. But you got to let them go. I can't make this up. Pisces, no, no. You got to let them go. Because the seeds that you've been planting, they're going to grow. And they want you to stay positive. Could be dealing with, dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Yeah, I'm telling y'all. Y'all know the truth. You know this person juggles between you and another love interest you and a family member you and their career it's like they keep putting other people other things other behaviors first and they don't treat you the way that you're supposed to be treated that's why you got to remove yourself look at that and when you do god is bringing you a blessing there's a blessing coming in the offer that you do deserve Pis pisces i'm telling you you have something coming in you could be, you know, dealing with another Pisces, but I'm telling, look at the Pisces, this is you. 
They're saying, listen to your intuition. You know, even though this hurts to let them go, I can't make this up. You know there's no balance with them. You know this. You're going to keep putting yourself, you know, in a situation to where you're having to give or you're having to do more than this other individual. Look at that. My eyes went to the words, you are no longer the fool in this situation. Not calling y'all a fool, but you get what I'm trying to say. You're not like, no, I'm not going to be silly. I'm not going to be, you know, the fool. But at the same time, I'm going to take a leap. I'm listening to my intuition. Intuition. You guys know you are very intuitive. And you know this person means you no good. You know this. Look at that. So you're telling them the truth. You're like, no, I can't do this anymore. Because you're healing from feeling betrayed. This person has stabbed you in the back one too many times. And it's like, I can't keep doing this to myself. But see, somebody's still not listening to their intuition. Oh, let's see. Because see, you're in your head. You can't sleep. Trying to make sure you're making the right decision. But Pisces, y'all know what you need to do. Let this person go. We're not going to do this in April, okay? In April... I'm going to pull up on y'all. If I pull cards for y'all in April and I still see this, I'm going to come haunt you in your dreams, okay? I'm going to come find you. All right, Pisces. Y'all know I'm playing. Maybe not. But don't. we're not going to do this in April, okay? Do what you need to do. Y'all know this Mercury retrograde is almost over, so this is a time of y'all seeing truths and lessons and all of that. All right, cool. We're going to let them go because in April... I better be seeing this. It better start off like this, okay? Hey, I got new love coming in. I'm focusing on me. And then, boom, here somebody is. I'm telling you, there's a blessing coming. But you got to get away from this person. They're blocking it. All right, Pisces, that was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're interested in a personal reading, please feel free to send me an email. I will leave my information in the description box. Okay, guys, I love you all, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, Pisces.